In the Silence of the Night, by Muhammad Haisam. Day and night always accompany in the journey of our life. Afternoon is synonymous with hustle and bustle, because at noon humans are looking for a living. Meanwhile, night is synonymous with silence, because at night, humans rest and sleep. The quiet night atmosphere decorated with the moon and stars that allows us to rest in peace and sleep comfortably is a blessing from Allah Subhanahu wa Alabama. And it is because of his mercy that he has made for you night and day, that you may rest at night and that you may seek some of his bounty, during the day, and that you may be grateful to him. However, the quiet and beautiful night, don't let us fall asleep with a pillow of comfort so that our nights are devoid of charity. We must set aside the silence and beauty of the night to meet the Creator of Beauty, the Most Merciful God. Because, behind the silence of the night, especially in the third of the night, there are virtues for those who long for an encounter with their Lord. At that time, all our complaints will be heard and given a solution by Him. Tears of regret for sins will be erased by his forgiveness, hopes and dreams that we long for will be allowed by him. The Prophet Muhammad said, Our Lord, Most High, and Most High, descends every night to the heavens of the world when the last third of the night is left. He said, Whoever prays to me, I will grant it, whoever asks me, I will give it. Whoever begs forgiveness from me, I will forgive him. Narrated by Bukhari Muslim. This is what the pious people are after. Those who thirst for his mercy and forgiveness. They sleep very little at night. And always ask for forgiveness in the morning before dawn. Surah Anj Jariyat, 17-18. For those of us who are covered in sin and charity, we should at least try to set aside a night to meet Allah through the worship we do. Moreover, every night Allah SWT always wakes us up to establish night prayers and read the Quran. O people who are covered, wake up part of the night, for prayer, half of it or less, or less of it. And read the Quran with Tartal. Surat al-Muzamil, 1-4. If we are able to turn on the silence of the night, especially in the third of the night, then we will get great virtue and reward. In addition, it will make our hearts soft. In the book Lathifal Marath, Ibn Jazi said, that the blowing of the wind at dawn is the staple food for the soul. The wind that blows this morning will make the heart softer, cool the heat of anger and convey the message of love. Thus, people who often wake up in the third of the night have a subtle feeling when they see an oddity around them. How beautiful it would be, if we were able to set aside the silence and beauty of the night and combine it with the solemnity of the evening prayer, the solemnity of reading the Quran and the tears of compassion. The night is very long, don't shorten it for your sleep. The day is bright, don't you dim with your sins. Wallow alam.